Hi, so I've had a few people message me asking for some GCSE and A-level maths revision tips. So I thought I'd make a quick video with some of the things that I found really helpful when I was revising for my maths exams. And ultimately, these tips help get me full marks on all my GCSE and A-level maths papers. But these tips are not only helpful if you're seeking the top grades, I really think that these will help you regardless of what you're aiming for. If you're just aiming to pass, I really hope these tips will help you do just that. <laughs> So my number one tip for GCSE and A-level maths exams is to do a lot of past papers. I really recommend printing out the exam paper and then once you've tried doing all the questions and you've marked them, write on the actual exam paper itself anything you got wrong or anything you've learnt from a particular question. Then I just kept the printed past paper without all the workings that I did for questions that I found straightforward. That way, when I look back on my past papers that I've done, it's really clear to see what questions I've got wrong, remind myself of what I should have done, and also it helps me spot common problems across different past papers. This is my C3 and C4 past paper file. I did all the past papers for my exam board, wrote the year clearly on the top, and kept it in a file. That way, a few days before the exam, I could easily flick through it and remind myself of what to watch out for in the exam. I realise that if you're sitting a new GCSE or A-level format, there may not be that many official past papers for your particular exam. In that case, I recommend looking at the old exam formats or past papers from other exam boards and seeing which questions look like they could appear in your exam, because I think in a lot of cases the content won't have changed hugely. And find relevant questions, print them out and also put those in the file once you've solved them and corrected them and annotated the ones you found tricky. <laughs> So I'm literally obsessed with calculators and I think they're really underused by students. Calculators can answer a lot of questions for you. So for instance, if you're doing GCSEs and say you need to find the prime factorisation of 140, you can check your answer by typing in 140 in your calculator and pressing equals. And then if you press shift and fact, it tells you the prime factorisation. So you can check your answer. Or if you're doing A-levels, your calculator probably gives you the gradient of any curve at any point. So for instance, say I need to find the gradient of this curve at the point where x equals 4. On my calculator, once I've drawn the graph, I can press F4 and then F2 and then type in the value of x where I want the gradient. So I type in 4 and press execute. And there it tells me that dy by dx equals 9, which is what I found. So I completely recommend finding the instruction manual for your calculator online and reading it as dull as that may seem. I've put a link to all the Casio calculator manuals below. Being able to use a calculator effectively in an exam will save you time, it will help you check your answers, and it will probably gain you some crucial marks. <laughs> The number of marks a question is worth can tell you a lot. Say you have this GCSE question which says solve for x, x squared equals 4. Now I've written my answer down for this, I've written x equals 2 because 2 squared is 4. However, I now notice that the question is worth 2 marks and I don't really feel like I've done enough for this to be worth 2 marks. I sort of feel this is one mark's worth of work because I've only written one answer down and I didn't really need to do any workings. So this is triggering alarm bells in my head. I'm thinking, OK, maybe there's something else I'm missing. And indeed there is. There's another solution. If you square minus two, you also get four. So you can often get an idea of if you've written enough information by checking the mark allocation. And in this case, it helped me notice that I was missing something. <laughs> So this probably sounds like a boring thing your teacher always tells you, but there are really good ways to check your answers in maths exams that can help you be confident that you've got the correct answer. So for instance, say you have this question that asks you to solve this equation for x, and you do some rearranging and you get that x equals 2. Now what we've done by solving this equation is we've found the values of x for which this equation makes sense. So if we substitute the value of x that we got as our answer into this equation, we should find that the left hand side equals the right hand side. So our left hand side is 7x minus 1. And with x equals 2, let's substitute that in. 7x minus 1. And 
this equals 7 times 2 with our x value minus 1, which is 14 minus 1, which is 13. And on the right hand side, we have 11 plus x. And with our x value, that's 11 plus 2, which is also 13. So the left hand side and the right hand side agree. So we can be 100% sure that we've found the correct solution to this equation. If you have time in the exam, try and find creative ways to check your questions, whether it's solving it a different way, using your calculator to check it, or perhaps sketching a helpful graph. You know everything you need to know to answer the questions in the exam. They're not going to test you on something you can't do. It is just a case of selecting the right mathematical tool for the right question. So enter the exam with a positive mindset and if you see a question that looks scary, just give it a go. Try anything you can think of. The most important thing I've learned with maths exams is that if you see a question that looks initially impossible, the best thing you can do is just start writing things down because not only will that give you marks in itself for writing some workings down, it will often make the question a lot clearer. So those were my five top tips for maths exams. If you have any questions, feel free to drop me a message either here or on Instagram. And good luck with any maths exams you do take. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you want to see more aesthetic, massy videos, do check out my channel and subscribe.